Here are a few things that might be helpful for anyone who is planning on installing wood, or in other words, covering a concrete stairway with some type of wood framing. Now remember, concrete can absorb moisture. And if you have spots, gaps or cracks where when it rains, water can drip below the wood then uh, the wood is going to shade it for a long period of time. Now, I'm not talking about if you live in uh, temperatures where it's, uh, you know, 90 degrees most of the day, this might not be a problem. But it might be a problem in areas where the house, the set of stairs is located in an area where it's going to be shaded all day uh, or for most of the day and uh, a variety of other things. So not going to go into all of that, but I am going to try and provide you with a few things to think about if you do something like this. And I recently came across a picture on the internet that had a set of stairs built kind of like this, and uh, it didn't look like it was going to work, and it kind of inspired me to make the video here. So we would be working with maybe some 2x12 stringers, um, maybe a 2x6 on the side, some 1x8 one by, one by for, for risers, maybe 2x6 or 2x12s for treads. Now you can see here that if you just put it right up against the concrete, and you know, if you use adhesive, you know, this concrete adhesive, it'll stick to anything. Um, it might, might not, and if it doesn't, uh, that could be a problem. But one thing to consider doing might be to cover everything with some type of a sealant or adhesive and then stick everything to it and that's in the hopes of that sealant actually being able to provide you with some type of uh, moisture barrier between the concrete and the wood. But usually what ends up happening is the sealant creates a waterproof barrier and allows water to get trapped underneath the tread. Um, so on a vertical surface, it might not be a problem, but on a horizontal surface, you could have water slip through the gaps or cracks and actually hang around for a long period of time. Uh, and its only way out might be to absorb through the wood. And this would accelerate the process of rotting the wood even faster hope that makes sense. So if you just slap all the wood up against the concrete, you could be dealing with a variety of different moisture issues. Moisture absorbing from the concrete into the wood. The, the moisture will actually, um, the concrete will actually pull moisture out of the ground and uh, it pulls it out of the air too. So any moisture that gets absorbed in the, into the concrete can get transferred into the wood. However, that might not be the case if you use some type of spacers. Now, this will actually raise the stairway. And of course, that can create problems for your stairs also. I'll go into that in a bit here. So some type of material that isn't going to rot, um, maybe a pressure treated lumber, I'm guessing, something that's rated for this. Um, you know, I really can't think of anything. You still need to be able to attach the treads and risers into some type of material. So if you're going to use a spacer, it's going to be it's going to need to be something that you could um, actually um, screw or nail something into to attach your risers and treads. So spacers and you need some spacers up here. Now you'll be able to nail the treads or the decking to the end of the boards if you use something like this. And of course, you will need spacers for these to keep the wood away from the concrete on the sides, give you an idea what the spacers will look like. And you can leave gaps if you want or attach everything together. You can actually attach the all of this together. You could uh, nail or screw through the back, nail or screw down and make one piece here that's nailed together and then set it on top. Use some type of a sealant under it um, or concrete fasteners, anchors to, to attach it to the concrete. Just throwing some ideas out there, what it would look like. Put the stringers on the end with the spacers, risers, treads, and of course give you an idea what the 
threads um, will look like. Now, one other problem you're going to run into is that this will raise the deck and it could create problems for the flooring in here. So, for example, if you have a two inch difference between the finished floor on the interior and the top of the concrete stairway or the top of the concrete porch here and you add an inch and a half and three quarters this is going to be a little higher so that could create a problem and the riser this bottom riser is going to be taller also so you might actually need to raise the area here to make something like this work i'm just kind of throwing that out there for those of you who don't really have a uh, general understanding about stairway construction, um, I'd suggest watching some more videos or, you know, grab a piece of paper and draw everything out to scale before building it to see what I'm talking about. Because when you add materials to something in either direction, you could affect the, um, the rise on the stairway the depth of the tread in certain locations, so keep that in mind.